Hello, Glamazons. It's me. And this is like the third video I filmed today. Like, I had to stop and get a sip of something because my voice is getting a little scratchy. Anyway, this is a cool video for the ladies out there. Um, a jewelry video, Confessions of a Jewelry Hoarder. What I would wear on an important date, or if I was going to be around the man of my dreams, you know, a fiance, a serious boyfriend, a husband, maybe. Well, actually, not a husband, but. <laughs> um, you know, this is what to wear for occasions like that. You know, you're out with your man. You want to look good. You want to wear special jewelry. This is not the time for the dollar store hoops or um, junk jewelry, in my opinion. Um, also, I want to point out, if you're not married to that man, do not wear something like this. <laughs> the engagement looking ring. Hmm, this camera. No, which way to turn? Okay. Yeah, you don't want to wear anything that uh, looks like an engagement ring, so don't. <laughs> Unless you're actually engaged to him, don't do that because you'll just look kind of crazy. Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, alright, so let's just jump into it. Again, I would suggest that this is when you whip out the good stuff. Or your fabulous fakes if you don't really have the good stuff because you know like you're young or you just haven't invested in jewelry yet. Um, also, this is the type of stuff that I would wear around his parents or um, important co-workers. Anyone that might be, need to be a little impressed or anyone that um, he wants to look good around. So, hmm, where do I start? I have my tray here, as always. Do I have a tray, right? Hmm, yeah. <sighs> okay, so, you know what? I'll just start with some of the fake stuff. I would say, first of all, wear whatever he's given you. If he's bought you jewelry and he's a good guy, because good guys buy their girls jewelry, wear what he's bought you. Especially if he's bought you something good. <laughs> um, you know, if he's bought you his birthstone or his initial or, um, you know, something from a little red box. Wink. <laughs> um, you know, wear what he's given you because you want to show that you're grateful. You want to encourage him to buy you more. You want to show him that you love it and that you appreciate it. And that you want other people to see what he's given you. Also, whatever you do wear, people are going to assume that he gave it to you anyway. Trust me. Uh, when I put on my nicer jewelry, it's like, ooh, what man gave you that? Ooh, he must love you. They assume it's like a dog collar or something. I don't know, I belong to someone because I have it, but... It's annoying because, you know, as ladies, we work for our things, but... I'm just letting you know, letting you know, that when you wear something, people are going to assume that your man gave it to you. Even if you bought it yourself. But don't embarrass him, just let him get the credit, Okay. And let him know that if he wants to continue getting getting the credit, he should contribute and uh, buy you some pretty pieces. That way, you can smile for real when people say, oh, he must love you. He bought you that. You can be like, uh-huh. Think to yourself, yeah, he actually did buy this one. <laughs> anyway, I would say it's nice to wear his favorite color. I would also say you cannot go wrong with pearls. These are some pearls. And I don't know if you guys can see, but these are blue. These are blue pearls, which I don't remember where I bought this, but I've never seen them again. These are fake, but they've got the hand knotting in between, and they look very real. Um, very classic, very classy. You can wear this to anywhere he's taking you, to meet anyone he's introducing you to. Um, even if you're going to be around his family, this is completely appropriate. Continuing on with pearls. I got these at Burlington, they're not real, but just a classic white strand, and these have a really pretty rhinestone ball at the end. You can wear them like that, or you can wear the clasp all the way up to the side. I got these around Christmas time, 
they're super beautiful. Again, you cannot go wrong. You will instantly look like a million dollars with a nice set of pearls, fake or real. It's just, they just say class. They really do because trashy skanks don't wear pearls, so. <laughs> um, the jewelry just kind of makes a statement like, I'm here, I'm special, he loves me, and I'm the one he brings home to his mother. You know, some chick at a bar with cheap Forever 21 jewelry. <sighs> like, that's just not, that's not it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be that girl. Okay? You, you don't want to be that girl. <laughs> um... Just something casual, but you never know who you're going to meet. Like, if you have a popular boyfriend, and, you know, he just seems to know everybody in the city. I like this. This is something I would wear. It's hematite, but it's got pearls at the end of it. Little faux pearls. So it's real and fake. The, the stones are real, but the pearls are not. But it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. And I totally could never model this stuff on camera without looking like a jerk because I don't know what I'm doing, but you get the point. It's very, very, very pretty. Um, continuing on with pearls, I figured I'd show you guys some real ones. Now, honestly, if I'm going to meet his family or if it's like, you know, I'm going to be around his family or something like that, or if he's taking me out somewhere really nice. I would opt for real pearls. I'm showing you guys some fake ones because, you know, not everyone has real pearls. But I do. And I would honestly wear real pearls. Here's a ton of them. <laughs> um, they're not in the box right. But here's some real pearls. In all different colors. Each one has a story and silver clasp. I've got some silver pearls here. Pink ones, black ones, chocolate ones. And there's some white ones, and there's a multicolored strand right there. And I have the earrings to match all of them, the studs. So this set, honestly, this set came from um, JTV.com. So, yeah. There's no excuse not to have real pearls. They're affordable. Trust me, they're affordable. Um, especially if you're over 18 and you have a job or whatever, they're affordable. Um... So yeah, and these are like the daintier, smaller pearls. Like, I have big ones, but I like these little small ones because I can hook these together and make different necklaces. Or it's like about an um, 18-inch strand. Very classy, totally appropriate to meet his mother. The colored ones have a little bit of personality, you know, because honestly, every girl has that basic strand of white pearl, so... Um... You know, if his mom sees you wearing some silver pearls or, like, some multicolored pearls or, like, some of these chocolate pearls, she might think, oh, this girl's a little different. You know, she's got taste. Because most people don't think to buy pearls in colors, you know. And they came boxed like that. So, yeah. I would definitely wear something like that um, if I were going to be around his mom. That's what terrifies me is having a great guy and meeting his mother. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just the scariest thought ever. That would make me freak out. He's like, I want you to meet my mom. And like, you know, I love him. And he wants me to meet his mom. Oh my god. That's a heart attack right there. Now that's something where I'd freak out over what to wear. And I'd be like, oh my god, what if she doesn't like me? And oh, I'd be ready to pass out. Oh, but anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so again, more real pearls. Uh, something I would wear we were going to like his church or again being around his family or if he has a high profile job or he works in a certain industry and he's bringing you around his co-workers I would wear something real and this is a set again I would probably go with pearls these are perfect pearls and it's 14 karat gold you, have the, you see here the stud earrings and the, the tin cup necklace it's a tin cup style um, that's just the bag. I didn't take it out of the packaging. The rest of the chain is tucked in there, whatever. But the pearls go all the way around. And they're very dainty, very small because, you know, they're extremely small. These have got to be like 4 millimeter pearls. But these were expensive because they're not typical, um, cultured pearls, so. But again, classic, classy. People do notice these things. Trust me, they do. Um, 
Um, let me see, did I pick out something else to show you guys? I'll just keep going with the real jewelry and then I'll show you guys some costume jewelry. Um, I think these are wonderful for a date. Again, pearls. These are rose gold and diamond with uh, pearl drops. I don't know, this camera doesn't like to focus too much. The last time I wore these, I was actually on a date. So I think, you know, if you're with a special guy, it's the time to break that out. Um, let's see here. My last couple pearl pieces here. This is a matching set. The ring and the pendant. I don't know if you guys can see that. Diamonds don't show up well on this webcam, but... There you go. It's the pendant with the exact matching ring. I would wear that if I were out with someone special. Again, it's just very classic, very classy. It's so hard to get this stuff to show up on camera, so sorry. And I'm careful as to where I put this stuff back. Um, okay, or something like this. I just pulled out the bracelet, but this has the matching earrings and necklace. It's a beautiful horseshoe link gold bracelet. There you guys can see the links. I think it's very classy, very appropriate. Because, again, you want to wear something that says he treats you well, something that says he's doing good, you know, something that says you're happy, something that's going to say he's spoiling me without actually saying it, you know what I mean? Then I think you can go wrong with solitaires. This is a pretty little solitaire and a gold chain. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Just like the one I have on, really. Can't go wrong with that. Um, okay, when well you want to show stop, pull out the big gold chain. It's a simple, classic gold chain. Especially with the price of gold right now. I mean, they're going to think your guy is... He just got a raise, he got a promotion, he's in love with you, he's spoiling you, gives you whatever you want, and that he's serious about you, because guys really only give jewelry to girls that they're serious about. Um, they don't buy jewelry for the hoes. <laughs> they don't. Especially the real jewelry, like, you know, if you're a hoe or, you know, someone he's just not interested in, he might buy you some H&M jewelry. He might buy you some dollar plastic stuff if you see it and you like it. Or he might even buy some Betsy Johnson or maybe a Juicy Couture piece. But when you get real silver and real gold, <laughs> um, you know it's real. Uh, anyway. Guess I'll show some rings. Rings like this. Because again, remember I said you do not want to wear anything that looks like an engagement ring if you are not engaged. <laughs> This one's garnet with diamond and gold. Very pretty. Focus. Um, and again, you should have the matching pieces if you can. Okay, here's another one. Casual, but pretty. Like I like the girly jewelry if you're out with a guy. This is really a crow Um, You know, this is, it's a pink girly gemstone. It's just, you know... Can't go wrong with it. It's totally appropriate. Wear it when you're out to dinner with him or around his friends or something like that. At nighttime, I suggest you break out the glitter. <laughs> this is a diamond butterfly. Very cute. Hmm. Okay, for earrings, um, I like these 
thicker gold hoops. I think that they are really, um, they make a statement. I have them hooked together here, but you can see just a thicker gauge gold hoop. Yeah, you want his mother to know that he's taking you seriously and that, you know, you're classy and that you're used to something. But then even, you know, even better, she knows that he didn't buy it. That way she knows you have your own, you know what I mean? That you're not using her son, you know? These are really pretty. These are hoops. Got diamond and a lab created ruby because it was just a prettier stone. And then they had the ban on a uh, um, Burmese rubies, so a lot of jewelry was made with lab created rubies, but they're really pretty. Love these hoops. Very classy. And then, you know, I think the girly romantic jewelry is appropriate. Um, you know, you're out with him. I think that's when you should bring out the heart jewelry and the lockets and all that kind of stuff. Here I have my silver silver hoops and I put these mother pearl heart charms on them. Yeah, so they're just silver hoops with a mother of pearl heart charm. You guys can't see it, but it's pink mother of pearl. So they're just really cute, um, pink hearts. Very cute, very sweet. And if he marries you, that's when you pull out the big guns. <laughs> you know, if he marries you and then um, you get to be around his boss or something, you pull out the big guns. This ring is so heavy, I can't even tell you. I had to stop wearing this ring because people um, were trying to like, <laughs> you know, they were getting a little too close for comfort. But yeah, that's when he's the one you, you, you pull out the big guns. But anyway, um, I'll show you guys some fake pieces. Costume jewelry pieces I think are acceptable. Um, again, check out my Believable Fakes video if you have not. Okay, so here's some bracelets, which I think are beautiful to wear. They look real. This is a love knot kind of design. Very pretty. Platinum plated. These are crystal. Just a plain one here. You know what? Let me. That doesn't really help, does it? No. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you know. This will look like a diamond bangle when you wear it, so diamond bangles are always great. Um, I'm trying not to mix up my real and fake jewelry here. I think this one is very pretty. Very pretty. It's pearl. Big pearl, of course. There you go. It's very, very pretty. Very classy. You know, if you're going out to dinner or whatever, I think it's really sweet. Um, let me get a move on here, and I'll show you guys some watches, but in a minute. I think this is a very long, elegant necklace. I would actually take it off this chain and put it on a sterling silver chain, but that's just me. But, um, I didn't do that just for this video. It was no point. So, on a long chain, it's just got this beautiful, beautiful drop. And the camera isn't doing this justice. It looks like a big tanzanite. You have to trust me on that. It's very beautiful. I think it's very classy to wear on an evening out with your boyfriend. And I have it in clear. And this is crystal. Like, it's not plastic. Um, but yeah, and I would take it off this chain and put it on a stolen silver chain. Um, put that over there. Again, the girly sweet jewelry I think is very um, wonderful to wear if you're around a special man. So I pulled this piece out. It's a heart with a bow. This one came off of eBay. I think it's vintage. 
It's very pretty. It just says sweet, you know, special. I'm his girlfriend. It's cutesy. Very romantic. Um, here's another piece that I would like to wear. <clears throat> this is a charm bracelet, and it's by RJ Graziano. It was limited edition, so he doesn't make it anymore. It's called the Powder Puff Charm Bracelet. And it's just gold and pink, and it's got tons of charms, like the Eiffel Tower, a poodle, a purse, a shoe, a cameo, a butterfly, like, pearls. If you guys can see these charms or not, but... There's a little cameo. It's just full of charms. And each charm is done and they're signed on the back and everything. Let me try and hold it this way. There's like crystals on all the charms and stuff. Very beautiful. Very girly. Very sweet. Guys like jewelry that jingle jangles. It's like such a feminine sound to them, so that's always a trick. <laughs> You'll hear you coming and it's kind of cute. Um, so like bangles and stuff like that are great, but only if they're expensive bangles, or if they look real. Um, okay, another believable fake that I think is appropriate to wear. If you buy jewelry from QVC, the Jacqueline Kennedy collection is great, and so is the Nolan Miller collection, which I don't know if they still sell Nolan Miller or not. But I was lucky to have some pieces, so this I love. These pieces are done so good. It's on a silk cord, and it's just beautiful. I would easily wear this uh, for a romantic occasion. It's beautiful, and it looks so expensive. Um, and another Nolan Miller piece is the initial pendant, and of course this is my initial. Um, it's a T. And these look like platinum and diamond pieces, like they're beautiful. You know, everyone will notice this when it's around your neck. It's a really nice size. It's beautiful. Very classy, very elegant. You want classy, elegant stuff. If the guy is special, you know? And okay, so last but not least, watches, because this video is so long. I think you should wear nicer watches. Um, classy, classic when you're with that special guy. People do notice watches, especially now because no one actually needs a watch anymore, you know? Like, we all have iPhones and Androids and stuff, so... Um, people notice a watch now more than ever because it's not necessary, so it's more like a luxury item, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. It's not the time to pull out the big Michael Kors, because everyone's got it, you know? Except me, I don't want it. Because everyone else has it. Unless he bought it for you. You know, it's so overdone. I like to go a little old school. Designer, you know, small face. And you guys can't see it, but it's Mother of Pearl. It's, it just has like rainbows all in the face of a watch because of the Mother of Pearl. But you guys aren't going to be able to see that. So, but yeah, this is red leather. It's such like a classy watch. Like it's such a woman's watch. Like you know, it's just it's, it's just for a lady. You know, you want to look like a lady, and you want to look like a well taken, uh, a taken, well taken care of, spoiled lady. Here's another designer watch. This one has marcasite and crystals in it. Again, I would wear it on a date if I were out with someone special. But you can see the marcasite and the crystals. And this one also has a mother of pearl face, which you guys can't really see, but it's just beautiful rainbow face. And it's just elegant, it's dressy, um, it just says class, you know, that he's with the good one, you know. Because any girl can wear like a cheap silicone, um, on one of those overdone ceramic watches, you know. Um, if I were going out someplace casual, speaking of ceramic, <laughs> but this one's a little different because it's rose tone. Um, you know, if he were taking me out around Manhattan, just like 
catch a movie or to walk through the park on a casual day or out for drinks or something, I would go with something like this. It's bigger, it's beautiful, it's rose toned crystals, which the crystals are so blinding that you can't really see, but it's beautiful, it's got the deployment buckle, you know, it's got everything on it, serial numbers and all that kind of stuff. But very, very beautiful. Still classy and like expensive looking. And then last but not least, two more watches. Again, I like my dressier watches. I save them for when I'm going out either for something really special or with someone really special. So here's one. Let me adjust the little thingy. This one's on a red leather crocodile strap. Crocodile emboss strap. Look at that. It's beautiful. You guys have to trust me on that. It's very, very beautiful. It's very classy. I'm trying to like shade it, but then you guys can see. It's extremely classy, very elegant. People, when you wear it, they know it's expensive. They know what they can tell it's genuine leather. You know, again, it looks like kind of like an extravagant gift that he may have bought you, even if you bought it yourself. Because I'm not mad at us ladies who buy things ourselves. Or I also have this watch, which is also a red leather strap watch. I have a ton of these watches. But I bought this one because it has a pink mother of pearl face and it's shaped like a heart. So. I thought that was really sweet, and I have it in another color. But look at that. It's a watch. Look at the little crystals and this rose tone. And it's just beautiful. It's got a pink mother pro face. I mean, what's not to love about this? Like, how sweet is this? Like, you know, if you are with your significant other, and, you know, he's holding your hand, and you guys are eating ice cream or cotton candy or something, and you have this around your wrist... You know, you're meeting some of his cousins or something, and you have something so sweet around your wrist. And then, like, because it's a heart, people are going to assume that, you know, oh, you know, that kind of stuff. So, I think that's really sweet. But anyway, this video is entirely too long, and if you watched it, thank you. <laughs> but this is what to wear for dates and romantic occasions, and just when you're with that sweetheart. You know, it was like, what do I wear? What do I wear? Don't wear the dollar store stuff. Don't wear the Forever 21 stuff. Um, this is when you want to get the good stuff, you know, either real or fake. And if it does come from, God forbid, Forever 21, make sure it looks real. Go for the pearls or something that just looks very real, and, you know. Um, something that people will look at you and they'll go, hmm. She seems very classy here, you know. Oh, she's stylish. Oh, she's, um, wow, she's got great taste. Oh, wow, he must really love her. Look at what he put around her neck. Or look at what he put on her wrist. Or look at what he put on her fingers. You know, she must be something special. You want something that's going to say, wow, she must be something special. That's exactly what you want when you're out with that guy. Whether he bought it for you or not. And you would do this because he's special to you. Anyway, I hope this helps. Any requests or what What do you wear for? Uh, put it down below. Hopefully I addressed everything, but if you think I left something out, um, just drop a request. Anyway, guys, I gotta go. <laughs> Take care. Bye. I can never find the off button for this thing.